uh, in this video we are going to explore crack and designer uh, so we can create a configuration file from designer you can check the url also you can click on the drop configuration file if you have already created to up, uh, upload or you can click on the step one to create uh, the configuration so the first is name you can pass any name uh, here for the api gateway uh, it's a friendly name which use will we use for telemetry purpose or analytics uh, on the second port tab it could be a port uh, by default it's uh, 8080 uh, you can assign any so i am in, in, in entering it uh, 8001 port so on the next uh, uh, there is a default timeouts and TTL uh, a backend timeouts uh, timeout it means that uh, every request uh, uh, of all the host uh, uh, needs to respond in a specific time so that's uh, we will add inside the backend timeout and default cache TTL means that every request needs to be cached of its headers and uh, you can check like uh, any request that contains CD and our server uh, request so it could be cached inside the header also you can notice that the host upstream services or backend you needs to uh, enter the URL of uh, backend side the domain so I have added uh, JSON placeholder and add, click on the add it will add so in the next uh, the, the first option is static address resolution it could be a static and the DNS service and disable sanitize sanitization purpose is for skipping a protocol checking uh, either HTTPS or not for security purpose also if you need to enable HTTPS click on the checkbox and it will enable this uh, similarly there is a URL rewrite its uh, enterprise uh, package uh, also it's a virtual host and geo IP these all features are based on enterprise level uh, the GI we contains uh, geolocations related things and also you can notice that HTTP read timeout uh, means that every request needs to read the complete uh, HTTP request including the body also HTTP write timeout means that uh, write request on the uh, HTTP response so uh, HTTP ideal timeout, uh, HTTP read header timeout. These all are the features uh, if you needs to apply on the uh, HTTP request for idle timeout or read header timeout. So on the next options, uh, default output encoding is uh, selected JSON. You can change it to any if you want. Uh, I am preferring to use JSON. Also, there is an allow restful resources naming. If you need to hit a specific restful service, you can check this one. And uh, also, there is a sequentially starts the server. You can check box, click on that. Uh, HTTP client settings advanced features are that uh, timeouts, ideal connection timeout means how many uh, uh, time it takes uh, the connections to be ideal if the request is not uh, coming. Uh, so you can check uh, inter integers value here in seconds or in milliseconds so similar for response header and expect continue the second option is connections maximum ideal connections how many connections you need to uh, uh, check uh, across all hosts so it would be uh, any number you can enter so maximum ideal connection per host how many connection you need for per host to be uh, waiting for the ideal connection it would be normally defaulted to 50 also disable keep alive if you check this per is will automatically tracking your changes in the specific uh, uh, file and, uh, and also check the request comings to your configuration file so also there is a dialer setting all fields related to that uh, dialing uh, HTTP so you can enter any values over there and uh, there is a keep alive time format as well you can define how many milliseconds that keep alive will dial request to the specific endpoint to check either uh, its request uh, response received or not so these are the important features for uh, HTTP server settings
now you if you click on the add endpoints it's very necessary yeah you can uh, uh, define endpoints over there so i am creating a first endpoint api slash posts so that could be uh, get request also there is a valid card option as well if you click on the enable it's uh, actually enterprise level uh, uh, thing so if you enable uh, uh, it valid card means that anything you passed in the uh, URL could be like uh, asterisk or uh, uh, regular expression so it will be treated as valid card so output is JSON and here if you have any parameters like for pagination page number or limit so you can uh, assign it here and by clicking add parameter it will add here and also uh, there is a header passing to backend if you need to pass any headers to the backend you will uh, be uh, mentioning or there like I am putting asterisk to uh, accept all headers so you, if you have any you can uh, manage it so concurrent calls actually uh, parallel request you want to send to the backend for the same raw request uh, it uh, it would be comes in the concurrent calls preferred is uh, three calls but you can assign how many uh, if you are uh, your hardware is capable of uh, handling many requests you can add many as well so rate limiting throttling enable rate limit throttling means that uh, you can uh, rate limit the requests to uh, handle your specific endpoints like i have added my endpoint will receive 15 requests and uh, uh, the user quota is uh, 5 I am entering so these are the rate limiting thing also there is a global rim, uh, rate limiting for all requests related to radius for caching and similar for the timeout and cache you can also uh, mention over there as well specific time and how many time in the header could be in cached for specific route you can assign the time in seconds or in milliseconds over there so I have added 4000 milliseconds now move towards the next uh, I am re removing it uh, just because for now just to illustrating the basic things so all these features which contain enterprises are based on enterprise level thing uh, as, as I am exploring mostly the community side so that's why I am not touching these so also there is authentications and <coughs> token signing keys values of uh, token signing like GWK URI algo and keys to sign different values you can assign if you have already used JWT token before you will well be well aware of that also there is a backend upstreams for specific endpoints uh, enable sequential proxy uh, if you uh, are capable to uh, handle requests on sequential basis so on the next there is a route you can check the hosts it will automatically pick the host from the HTTP server which we have defined in the previous video uh, also you can mention their uh, posts like we have a backend a JSON placeholder slash post it will give us all post data so here I am uh, uh, in, inside the host the main domain is uh, registered while in the backend endpoint I have just mentioned the uh, URI of posts and on the next there is a rate limiting or specific backend related thing you can rate limit for specific endpoint as well also there is a resolution and I have add host circuit break breaker is very um, uh, important concept here if you have uh, multiple connections uh, requests going to the server and it's not responding or uh, it's failed uh, the cir circuit breakers will automatically uh, stop uh, the uh, requests uh, for temporary purpose it's very important also there is a uh, auth client credential if your request needs authentication you can define or there also there is a mq p advanced messaging queuing protocol 
for like its work is uh, uh, rabbit mq it's a consumer so the both are work very well also there is a uh, publish slash subscribe uh, read events from q also uh, publish slash subscriber as a publisher you can read or push events to the queue so also there is a rest to graphql graphql also query uh, uh, graphql uh, query language also aws lambda and different features you can check so there is a one important concept of root object there if you are a response data and the main data is present in the data response items you can skip that specific root object and it you can access its children automatically like i will show you in the example i have uh, an endpoints of uh, eve superstore heroku dot this uh, it's a dummy endpoints i can access its products only so i can uh, add the root of its name products and it will gives me its children values all so that's it for the root object also you can check is a collection will check is uh the response is either in array or uh, not so if yes you can collect it uh, check check both this also there is one important more feature is filtering if you need to blacklist or whitelist specific fields from the response you can easily just add here attributes and it will be uh, blacklist means it will not be uh, uh, comes in the response so also there is a grouping features if you need to uh, uh, all data into one group so you can assign a value over there similarly for uh, renaming if you have a response field like uh, uh, email and you want to change it to something as like personal email it will be changed as well in the response so it's a very important concept as well uh, also there is a array manipulation if you needs to uh, move data or delete data from a specific array or you need to flatten uh, this uh, array manipulation gives us the opportunity you can play with it so on the next it's a cache enable in cache memory for desired backend if you need to cache all the response from the specific endpoint you can cache it easily uh, by checking or that's checkbox and at the end you can click on the add endpoint if you needs to add another endpoint for that endpoints api like a posts i have done so now on the last click on the third option download and the crack and json file is downloaded successfully so thank you so much for watching we will continue further from the these configuration file thanks